Hello and welcome to BCIT Magazine. I'm Artie Prasad. And I'm Dustin Forbes. A warning, some of the photos in this next story are of a graphic nature. There's been another police dog mauling in the Lower Mainland, this time in Surrey on a 16-year-old boy. Michael Popov has the story. Vancouver's Rio Theatre may soon be allowed to show movies again. City Council has approved a motion for a request to be made of the provincial government to allow the Rio to hold alcohol-free screenings of the movies when there are no live events scheduled. One local farmer is pr promoting sustainable model of farming that connects the consumer, the farmer and the community. Ish Sharma visited his farm in Burnaby to find out how it all works. A local company is connecting Vancouver diners directly to the source of the food they love. As Michael Popov reports, there is an app for that. While some transit users welcome the idea of upgraded service, phase three of the process continues until March 9th when the public get their say. Dustin Forbes in North Vancouver for BCIT Magazine. While Scott Niedermeyer, Rod Brindamore and Scott Carter were all unable to be in attendance, the message from the three was the same, a lot of thanks and a lot of excitement to go along with it. The five inductees will officially be inducted into the BC Hockey Hall of Fame this coming July in Penticton. Dustin Forbes in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine. The Robert Picton Missing Women's Inquiry that started in early October continues with the families and friends of the missing and murdered women taken to the stand. The re-signing of Paris Jackson is welcome news for the Grey Cup champions as their roster has been hit hard as of late with both Solomon Alamimian and Javon Olafioye as well as defensive line coach Randy Melvin all making the jump south of the border to the National Football League. Dustin Forbes in Surrey for BCIT Magazine. Forbes. After acquiring David Booth on the weekend, the Canucks headed to Edmonton. Booth making his debut wearing number seven in honor of his little sister who wears the number. He will sk skate alongside childhood friend Ryan Kessler and former Florida teammate Chris Higgins on the second line that has been dubbed the American Express. Highlights now. Scoreless after the first, we'll pick it up in the second. Taylor Hall to Jordan Eberle, shot and a goal. Bang, he makes it one nothing. Top Ched, high glove on Roberto Luongo. Everlay's first goal of the season makes it 1 0. Four minutes later, Luongo trying to do his impersonation of Martin Broder, but it, uh, and it, it, it's not. No, Horkoff scores, makes it 2 0. Edmonton, not a good job by Luongo on that one. To Iverwin, Lions and Tiger Cats. Lule looking end zone. He's got G Roy Simon for the major. He makes it. 7-6 BC with that catch, his 99th career touchdown, and on the catch, he passes Alan Pitts for second all-time in receiving. Justin Medlock made this kick in the first of back-to-backs for Hamilton. He went 7-for-7 seven seven in the game. Awesome game for Justin Medlock. There's Tom Brady. If he wins, four Super Bowls for him can tie Joe Montana. Eli Manning looking for his second championship. We'll put him one ahead of his older brother, Peyton. All right, kickoff, and we are underway in Super Bowl 46. Later on, Tom Brady in his own end zone, looking for someone to pass to, no option, so he just throws the ball away. Custom play, right? Wrong. There's a flag on the field, and it winds up in being a safety, the second safety in Super Bowl history, so the Giants up 2-0. Later on, Tom Brady. Second quarter, putting a drive together. He finds Gronkowski here, followed by Woodhead. Welker picks one up. All in all, a 96-yard drive ties a Super Bowl record, and it's eventually capped off with this Danny Woodhead touchdown, and the Patriots have the lead, 10-9 at halftime. Later on in the fourth quarter, Eli Manning looking to throw downfield, and he finds Mario Manningham on the sideline, but he's pushed out. No, it's a catch. Take a look at this catch by Super Mario. What a, an amazing play. Take a look. The ball coming in, and he keeps the feet in. It's a good catch. So later on, with a minute to go, Bradshaw will rumble. Yeah, it's a touchdown. The Patriots split like the Red Sea and let him score. I don't know if he wanted to, 
but he gets the touchdown here. Look, that's got to be the weirdest touchdown in Super Bowl history. And then the last play of the game. Barring a defensive foul, the game ends here to the end zone. Hernandez. And the ball drops, and the Giants win Super Bowl 46, 21-17. Eli Manning picking up his second Lombardi trophy.